Hello everyone. I have mentioned it before, but uh, I am a Kamen Rider fan. Uh, when I was a kid, I would grow up with Kamen Rider Black and Black Owl X. So that is my favorite Sora era of Kamen Rider. In the Hensei era, one of my favorite was uh, Kamen Rider Blade as a series overall. But if you uh, talk about a rider that I like the most, that is not in any of the popular series, it's actually in Kamen Rider Hibiki, and his name is Sanki. So this is Himari SIC Kiwami Tamashi version of Sanki. But uh, before I talk about Sanki, let's talk about um, Kamen Rider Hibiki first, because uh, a little bit of background would be, would be useful. Um, Kamen Rider Hibiki was originally not intended to be a Kamen Rider series. It was an invention of another story writer who was trying to create his own show, which is based on um, the ancient Japanese folklore of demon and um, monster, and as well as um, Ninja, who had basically transformed to a demon only to fight all of this demon using pure sound. Uh, the toy um, producer, the, yeah, toy director at the time thought that that would be a good idea to change to change that in the Kamen Rider, which is why the original series has no real mention of the word Kamen Rider anywhere at all in the in the storyline except for the title. None of the character really call themselves. Um, Kamen Rider of any sort, and they are referred simply as their only name, their demon name. Uh, the main title character is Hibiki, but um, here this is Sanki. Now, um, a lot of people who were looking at um, toys uh, that is on sale on HLJ recently would notice that these two were on sales together, Kamen Rider Sanki and Todoroki. And people will be wondering why are they exactly the same but two different names? Well, here is the reason. Sanki is the strongest um, strength-based demon of the uh, of the era of the area Kanto area. He has been training a student to actually replace him in the future, and that turned out to be a a teenage well not teenager a young man called Todoyama. But uh, during, right near basically the beginning of the storyline, um, it's off scene, but we are told that um, Sanki was injured and his knee, his right knee was um, broken badly. And he was out of action for a lot of episodes until around episode 15, when we finally see um, Sanki and Todoyama appear in, in the storyline and perform the first uh, screen fight uh, against a against a demon. But at the point we re we really realized that while Sanki still managed to defeat the first demon they encounter, he can't stand properly and his swing, especially with his uh, weapon, the Sesurai, this one, uh, no longer um, no longer effective. So after about three episodes later on, Sanki managed to uh, officially retire himself and intended to pass his name to Todoyama. Except Todoyama decided that because he is trained under Sanki, he don't want to take his uh, teacher's name and decide to call him uh, Todoroki. So Sanki here is a deep blue, uh, deep green bluish color. It's actually um, a bit of a um, pearl effect. Excuse me. It's a bit of pearl effect plus uh, a bronze, brownish gold um, accent and detail. While uh, Todoroki is the same blue but with silver detail. So that's one way to identify them. Secondly, Todoroki is now using Sesserite, uh, which is originally um, Sanki's weapon, while this version of Sanki is come with the Setsuzan, the Resizan, which is a late in later introduction when um, Todoroki was, was badly injured when he was trying to fight by himself. And he was badly injured to the point that he might not be able to move anymore, which at that point um, Sanki decided to come in with uh, and yeah, come out of retirement and fight. So this is basically 
it's the same as um, the other SIC Kimari Tamaji. He's effectively release number four, release number five, and they have basically the same body as um, as Hibiki. So the articulation artic is pretty good. The head can go up and down, not a lot, but it's enough. Left and right pretty well. In fact, I think it can turn 360, but I don't like doing that. Um, the torso has a little, very little up and down, and but there is reasonable amount of twist, enough for a human. Um, there is a joint on the inside of the shoulder, uh, which I think is a ball joint with a swivel, which means that you can raise his arm quite a bit. The shoulder armors rotate and entry slot and actually go inside, therefore allowing your arm to actually raise up to here. And it does rotate very high. Uh, there is a swivel down here, which allows you to turn the arm just underneath the shoulder. There is another, uh, oops, rotate the wrong way, which looks really, really weird. There's a swivel down here, which allows the arm to go up to about 90 degrees. And underneath the swivel is a ball joint, which allows the bottom half of the arm to swivel on its own, 360. The arm is plugged in on a peg, so it ro rotate 360, but it doesn't wiggle. Um, the, the hip is at the ball joint and underneath is a swivel so his leg can go forward about over just over 90 degrees but nothing backward out reasonably yeah, about 45 degrees but it does swivel at that point a little bit uh, double knee joint so he can fold his knee completely it's like completely 180 degrees. That is pretty impressive at the time. And then there is a swivel at the top um, near the ankle. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So you can swivel here, swivel down here. So his leg can go up and down. The peg is going in a sideways, which allows the the feet to yeah go sideways a little bit. So overall, pretty impressive. Uh, one thing that it that you need to look out for is that the knee can actually go a little bit loose not broken but a bit loose and so is the ankle especially this bit so do be careful when you're trying to pose him you might end up uh, having to try and strengthen the joint at a later date accessory wise um sankey comes with um a fake set of um this animal he's um Ah, his guitar center um, pickup can be taken off, although it leaves a very ugly um, little hole in the on his torso, which is ugly. Um, the Sesuzen, the Sesuzen is available in the X form and the guitar form with the pickup uh, plug-in. So the difference between them is. Close, open, close, open. And the tip edges take out a little bit more, but you can't see it really. Uh, hand wise, he comes with two close fits one on the left, one on the right, which is this one. No, it's not. This one. Uh, he comes with the right holding hand, which he's using right now. He has a left holding hand with a groove deliberately designed so that is as if he's actually holding um, his hand on the guitar ready, ready to um, to press a chord. And his right hand with the thumb sticking out with the um, with a little bit of a nail sticking out, indicating that he's actually playing the guitar. And the difference between uh, accessories between Sanke and Tokoriki is None, except for one. Um, Todoroki, uh, besides coming with the pickup for the uh, Sesurai, it also has a blank to actually plug over the hole to uh, show that um, show Todoroki before he actually acquired uh, the Sesurai from Sankey. So that is basically it for the action figure itself. Now, why do I like Sankey so much? 
Um, now, from here on, it's going to be spoilers. So, if you have intention of actually watching uh, Hibiki series, um, turn it off now. Sanki did a lot in the storyline because uh, Todoroki has to fight by himself and he was a newbie. He was overworking himself. Therefore, Sanki decided to become um, a supporter to actually help him maintain his, his equipment and his this animal. And then approximately 10 episodes later, um, Todoroki, as I said before, uh, hurt himself badly to the point that he is hospitalized and with a chance that he might not be able to walk anymore. So Sankey decided to come out of retirement completely, even though his uh, right leg is still broken, his right knee is still not functioning properly, and fight in his place. And knowing that he might not be able to survive uh, until, until Todoroki come back, he decided to cast a spell on himself. He decided to curse himself so that when he die, his spirit will not move on. In fact, it will um, remain, and while the um, while the human world is going to corrupt his uh, soul until the soul completely destroys itself, he will be able to have a have a physical body of some sort and continue on. And unfortunately, as as it happened, when you do this sort of thing, it happened in in the same episode. Sanki finally died on that day, and mysteriously he reappeared. Uh, in Todoroki's um, hospital bed and help um, Todoroki recover and even continue fighting on Todoroki more or less finally realized that this has happened while, so while until Todoroki finally recover and him and Sanki managed to do the final fight against one of the toughest uh, monsters they ever, ever encountered Sanki managed to realize he can move on and disappear into the, into the wind you can't blame me for liking liking him at all. The actor who actually plays Sankey also appear uh, again as um as a were um I can't remember the name, the name of Jiro, um the werewolf in Kiva as well. Um he's not bad at that in that one, but I don't think he's as good. I think his best performance was as Sankey. A character that don't speak a lot, but he's nonetheless amazing. So this is basically it for me. If I'm you, I will pick both of those these up. As action figure, they're great. And if you're a fan of the Hibiki series, you will like them a lot more. The only complaint I have right now of the SIC Kiwami Tamashi line is that they're not releasing Ibuki, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, they, this is basically it. Um, join me next time for another review.